Hey, what's going on, you guys? My name is Jesse or J Game, and welcome, One Piece fans. Today, we're going to be talking about the live action One Piece show coming to Netflix. Now, a lot of people are really skeptical about the show. They think it's going to be really bad. That's because Netflix has a bad track record. They keep making these live action animes, and they don't come out any good. I try to put those worries to rest in my last video where we talked about why the Netflix live action One Piece show won't fail. I said it won't fail because they have the creator Oda working on the live action One Piece show with Netflix. So, why would the creator want to destroy his? baby. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about the One Piece crew and their fighting styles. Nami uses her weather spear, Usopp uses his slingshot. When it comes to Luffy, Sanji, and Zoro, they like to use their legs. Luffy uses his stretching powers, obviously, and Zoro always uses his three sword style. Now, for the last few months, we've been checking the Instagrams of the actors of the live action One Piece show, and they've been updating on their workout routines and what they do to prepare to be Sanji, Zoro, and Luffy. Now, starting with Zoro, his fighting style is the three sword style. Now, what's weird about that fighting style is that he puts a third sword in his mouth and he uses that sword to actually fight other enemies. Now, how exactly are they going to adapt this into live action and make it look real. I think that's hard to have a sword in your mouth and make it look like you're actually using it and not make it look dumb, you know? We've gotten a set photo from the One Piece crew and it shows the actor or his stunt double using the three sword style. The actor playing Zoro is actually going to put the knife in his mouth and how is he going to use it? We don't know yet. We don't have any footage, but once we do, I'll be sure to show it to you guys. Now, next on the Straw Hat crew, we have Sanji and you already know he's Black Leg Sanji. He uses his legs as a weapon, though those things are hard to steal and I can't wait to see him do that 360 move he does with his legs. I don't know how they're going to do that in live action. Obviously he's not really going to do it but hopefully they don't make it look super goofy you know. The actor for Sanji has taken to Instagram as well and he's been posting his workout routines and shows what he does to prepare to be Sanji. And as you can see in his Instagram videos he's working on his kicks. He's getting really high with those roundhouse kicks. The power behind his kicks is really important so the fact that the actor is working his legs out almost every day in preparation for this role is absolutely amazing and I can't wait to see his kicking fighting style in the show. Now last but not least we have the captain of the crew Monkey D. Luffy and I am so excited to see Anaki Adoi actually play the character. He's been putting a lot of effort into becoming Luffy. On his Instagram he's been going on an adventure on a real boat and sailing across the world learning how to navigate the boat, learning how to actually be in the boat and use the sails and everything and that's really cool. I'm glad he's not gonna just be there pretending to be a pirate. No, he knows what he's doing. Also, don't get me started on his acrobatics he's been posting on Instagram. It shows that he's going to be very versatile when it comes to jumping around. He's actually going to look like Luffy because, you know, Luffy's always jumping around doing stuff, going to sit in high places. I can't wait to see him sitting on top of the Going Mary. Luffy's stunt double as well has been going crazy on Instagram videos showing his acrobatics, jumping even higher than Anaki. And I can't wait to see him use these acrobatic skills and then boom, stretch out. But guys, those are the fighting styles we will be seeing in the live action One Piece show coming to Netflix. And I hope they do it justice. I know there's going to be CGI when the fighting styles are happening just to make it look more better. But the fact that these actors are putting in their all to make sure that this adaption is close to the manga and the anime but keep in a realistic sense of, you know, it's Netflix. You know, they're going to want to make it real. That's what everyone's scared of. But don't worry, yo. You shouldn't be scared. Don't be scared that Netflix is going to ruin One Piece. Oda is is working very close with the creators and he's not gonna let them ruin his baby come on but thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed make sure you leave a like subscribe and hit that notification button so you never miss out on a video I upload a bunch of One Piece videos you can click the end screens here but thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video come God peace